Hey Bookaholics, so welcome back to another video. Today I am bringing you a dedicated series review of The Reindeer People by Megan Lindham. The Reindeer People is a historical epic adult fantasy. It is written by Megan Lindham, also known as Robin Hobb. It is a duology that consists of The Reindeer People and Wolf's Brother. The Reindeer People is a series that follows multiple characters, starting out with Tilu. Tilu is a healer. She is a young woman who lives on the outskirts of a village. She comes in to bless births to help the sick. And she lives on the outskirts by choice and she lives with her somewhat peculiar child. A child is Curlew who has access to magic that is quite unusual. He is therefore a prime candidate to learn how to be a shaman. However, Tilu is afraid of this because Carlo's mentor would be a man named Carp. Carp has a violent tendencies and egotisticalness to him and his magic smells foul to Tilu. As Carp becomes more and more obsessed with both Tilu and Karu, they then must flee his clutches. It's a very interesting story and it evolves much quicker than I thought past there but at the same time it's a slow story. We have multiple other perspectives, we have lots of people from the village which I did not expect when going into this book but I still found it to be an intimate enough story and I was very engaged with what was going on on with both the magic and this village. I'm going to be going through this review where I'm going to talk about the plot, the characters, and the world building. I will briefly mention that for anyone who has read Robin Hobb and therefore is wanting to step into her Megan Linden books, Robin Hobb herself has said that the Megan Linden books are under a different pen name because they are written very differently with a very different voice and tone. This is something that I agree wholeheartedly with. Her writing voice is very different in the Megan Linden books. However, there is crossover value in terms of the themes, the pacing, the way that she will depict something that is both beautiful and harrowing, the way that she shows the harshness of life and reality is still something that permeates through both pen names. So as much as the writing style will be different, it is still very much something that if you like Robin Hobb for the, the feel of Robin Hobb, then you may still enjoy Megan Linden. The plot of this story is very slow moving as you would expect from a Robin Hub and or Megan Linden story. It is definitely one that is there to give the characters something to do so that they can address the, the themes, so that they can address their own internal desires and struggles. It gives also leave to explore a little bit the world and the society and the way it functions. So it is definitely not a plot driven story as Robin Hobbs seldom are and yet in the same vein as any of her other works the plot is still really well executed. It's hard in a way to decipher what the plot is early on in the book and I don't like discussing things that are past the 100 page mark so I'm not going to get into it too much other than to caution you that if you are a plot driven reader this may not be for you for even though as I said it is a well executed story it is not its driving force. However getting into the characters I really love Robin Hobb's character work. She does such a good job of creating people that feel real, that feel flawed. She grounds them in a way that I think is absolutely exceptional because she grounds them through mundanity, through their daily tasks, through their smaller accomplishments, wants and needs. It's not through grandiose that she will introduce a character to you. She will introduce you to them in their normal habitat and then shake things up afterwards. It also then makes when things do change all the more harrowing because that is how you know the character. You know them through the life that they lead. So when that life is shaken up, it feels almost as hard for you you as for the character. There is no exception in this story. Her character work is absolutely phenomenal and I really appreciated the way that she would slowly ease you into these characters and the way that she would make sure that these characters burrowed themselves 
into your heart especially the interpersonal relationships be it the romantic ones or the parental ones there are ones where you can see that parents are just trying their best but they are not doing a good job because the belief system that they have does not fit with that of their child and then you have ones that very much are trying to possibly protect their child too much or try and push their child too much into a certain circumstance you also have relationships of the romantic sort where you have people who very much are forced to together in marriage or people who are together through love the different ways that people will interact with each other always is something that bleeds out of the page and into a reality for me when I'm reading a Robin Hobb and or in this case Megan Linden book in regards to the world building I believe that this is set in a fictional Alaska but we do have a very cold very snowy setting you do therefore have a slight hint of survivalism you have the importance on keeping your livestock alive the importance on checking grain and restores you have everyone constantly in survival mode in ensuring that they will see out winter because when winter comes it comes hard you have people who come together as a community because you all need to keep each other alive that includes Tilu's role as a healer so therefore having both Carp who is a shaman and Tilu who is a healer at odds with each other also creates a very interesting dynamic within this group of people so for the most part I just think that it's a very exciting story even though it's very slow paced which is an interesting combination because I find that the slow pacing tend to be quite beautiful but this one's harrowing Robin Hobb doesn't hold back from being harrowing she never has and this story is no exception it is definitely one that is not for the faint of heart there are scenes that are not great there are suggestions that of things that are horrific and I am glad they are not overly depicted on page but at the same time there is a sense of community there is a sense of love and a sense of care even if sometimes misguided and therefore it makes it all feel very real and very human and i really appreciate that but that is it for this review i enjoyed this story even though it was a very harrowing one i didn't engage with it quite as much as i did realm of the elderlings i didn't end up giving either of the books five stars i am not quite so enamored with them as i thought i would be but if you are wanting some historical fantasy giving this a go but that is all from me for today so hopefully you've enjoyed this review let me know if you've read this series and that is all from me for today bye